If for example we have a lamp requires 12 volt in order to work but all we have just a 3.7 battery so the voltage required by the load much higher than could be supplied by this battery. The answer to this problem is to use this power source and to boost the available DC voltage to the required level by using a boost converter. In this video we will know how it works and make a simple boost converter on PCB. So let's get started. This is the main circuit of boost converter. Firstly, we close this switch. The current flows through the coil and create the magnetic field around it. Then we open the switch. The coil pumps the energy into the circuit through the diode in order to charge the capacitor and raise the output voltage. The voltage depends on the input voltage and the characteristic of the coil. This is the circuit on the breadboard. I connect the coil, the diode, the capacitor, and the push button. And the multimeter in order to check the voltage. Anytime I press the button, the coil stores the energy and pump it to the capacitor. As you can see, the voltage rise. We need a powerful switch to do this job. I went with P36 and F06 MOSFET. We need a PWM signal in order to control the MOSFET. I use triple five timer with PWM configuration connected to the gate. I test the circuit again on the breadboard with 3 millihenry inductor. The diode to stop the backward current flow and the oscillation between input and output. I connect the gate to pin 3 and I check the voltage again. As you can see, the voltage rise. So we can observe that the voltage appear across the coil and discharge to the load depend on high and low square wave. With the potentiometer, we can change the duty cycle of the PWM signal and as a result, the output value. The circuits work well. But it has a problem. The output voltage change if we change the load because the circuit has no feedback. So let's make it on a PCB. I solder IC socket. Then 1 kilo ohm resistor. Then 50 kilo ohm potentiometer. 100 nanofarad capacitor. 3 millihenry inductor. The MOSFET. Capacitor, the diode, and the input and output connectors. I solder everything according to this schematic. And here is the final appearance. I try to light up the lamp with 3.7 battery, but it doesn't work. So now I use my boost converter and I connect my 3.7 volt battery in the input and it's working. So you can try to build your own boost converter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.